Thank you. So that's all the NGOs that will be helping out in batch two. So how many, how many of you are excited for the Tech Ladies Bootcamp already? Make some noise. Okay. That was actually a very risky question to ask because I don't know if you guys are all scared of the NGOs and you know it may just be dead silence. Then I'll just like uh, do a dance or something. Do the dance anyway. No. <laughs> so. Let's talk about something important, right? So after you see all these amazing NGOs and the coaches that you want to work with, so the question is, right, how do you apply to the program? So um, this time around, we're going to have, we're going to need uh, prospective applicants to finish a technical test be before you can apply, before you can fill out the application form. So the selection process is not complete science. We want to help people who wants to be helped, but it's very hard. It's very hard to it's very hard to measure like how do you know one individual needs another. So I hope you be you are patient with us in this aspect. We do our best, but of course it's not. We haven't got it to a T. So yeah. So maybe you are thinking, okay, I don't know any coding at all. Like all this Slack, Trello, all this stuff is just it's just words. Um, don't worry. So we created, we sort of like, um, I guess like we created, we, we made you do a task before you can apply because in the first batch, I had 130 applicants for nine spots and it's admin hell. Like um, I have a full-time job and I don't want to go through that again. So um, to help you go complete the technical task, we're going to help you get there through a series of workshops. You might want to take photo of that because um, they are half gone, and we have sit, we have only spaces for sixty. So one of the questions that a lot of people ask is is um, do I need to go all three? So the question, the answer is no. Um, we break up the workshops into specific topics. So if you're comfortable with the topic, you can skip that that workshop. And of course, like if you are not in Singapore for that workshop, we will also be uploading the resources. Uh, we'll try to get you as much technical knowledge as we can to help you complete the task. Oh, also these workshops are all paid to minimize no-shows. Again, full scholarship is provided. Uh, this is another slide that you want to take a picture of too because it's all the deadlines. So today is the info session and this Saturday, next Saturday and the following Saturday, we will be having the pre-bootcamp workshops of which next Friday we will release the task that you need to complete before you can apply for the program. And of course, the application process uh, period will start um, then and all the way to the first week of September, of which then we, we may interview and send you more questions just to ask about your application process or talk to you to really understand your motivation and what you're trying to achieve out of it because we're all here to help. Then the entire boot camp will last from the 24th to the 3rd of December. So we will meet every Saturday. And then we have party. Okay, so now let's do uh, maybe like quick five to ten minutes of Q and A. Does anyone has any questions about the projects that we're doing, the coaches who are teaching, or application process, anything? You can also email me. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so the question is, how do, you, how do you assign the participants to the NGO and also the project? So the participants get to choose. So in, in one, it, there, there may be cases where one project is a lot more popular than the other. Then it you know, just sort of like demand supply, I guess. Any other questions? Okay, so go for it. Did you say how long we will take to complete the task? Mm -hmm. Like how long are we going to the truthful answer is we don't know. So that's why we, we want to have the first workshop first, just to understand how much is actually realistically possible. Then we will sort of like, we have a plan of what we want to task, what, what the task is about, but we are going to adjust it based on the, the first workshop. So it, it definitely has to be doable within the application period. Any more questions? Okay, go for it. So the question is, is the technical task hosted somewhere? The answer is yes. We're going to try and make you push something up into the internet. Um, but of course, we'll definitely help you, give you the resources and the knowledge to do that. So it's going to be fun. Like, you can see your own URL and show off, share it on Facebook. 
Any more questions? Okay, Jack, on the back. Do you have to attend at least one workshop to qualify for the test? So the question is, do you have to attend at least one of the workshops to qualify for the task? The answer is no. Um, the, ta the, the workshops are here to help you, to give you the skills to complete the task. If you feel like you have enough knowledge to complete the task, you can skip it. Does that answer? Yeah, it's not enough knowledge, but books can be. Okay. Yeah, well, we have some resources available on, on the Eventbrite page already. So you can try and take a look and see if, if it's all Greek, then you probably need to come to the workshop. If it's like uh, English, then maybe not. Yeah. And what is there a specific language that you're looking at? Is there a language we're looking at? Ruby? Ruby. Ruby. The language is so the question is um, where will the task be hosted and what language it will be. So the language will be Ruby. Um, in terms of where we will blast out the task, we'll blast it out everywhere. So by that means like where's where's the task gonna get deployed? Like you're, you're oh. gonna build a simple web app and you're gonna deploy it to the Roku, which is free. Okay, so she's asking where will this where will the, the task be hosted? And the answer is, is Hero Go and it's free. Yeah, so actually for the workshops, right, uh, there's three workshops and there's only 60 participants per workshop. Um, and we know there's a limit to how many like, you know, we can host. Yeah, but at the same time, the, um, these workshops are going to be recorded by NGOs.NG. Mm -hmm. so oh, is that confirmed? Yes. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Okay. So the workshops will be recorded thanks to Michael and uh, his engineer star SGA team. Yeah. So don't worry if you if you can't make it. Um, but I'll still I'll still advise you to come because you got to ask questions. And I think as a beginner, it's so important because everything just looks like Greek. I don't even understand sometimes. Okay, last question. Go for it. For the task itself, is it possible to use other technologies? It doesn't have to be specifically Ruby and I think it might be tough. What do you guys think? Could be convinced. Ideally, it would be great if you did it in Ruby and Rails because that's what we're going to be doing for the boot camp. But I'm, I mean, if you demonstrate that you're capable of learning Ruby and Rails during the boot camp, you, depending on what you're what you're showing off that you build, because it's kind of an open ended task, we could probably be convinced. I know that's my own opinion. What do you guys think? We would just follow Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say like, that's my opinion. Well, it would definitely be more com com comfortable with Ruby on Rails. Agreed. Or at least some MVC fr framework that is very similar to Ruby on Rails. Like Django. Django for, for Python or yeah, Django for Spring. Now you're throwing random words. Yeah, guys. I, I, I think you just <laughs> lost everyone. <laughs> okay. Ideally, Ruby. Um, again, like we we have an idea, but we're not set in stone yet. So we're gonna tell the whole world on the twelfth of August. Okay. So that's all about the boot camp part. There's also another part to the to the um, event. So the coaches and the NGOs will be here. So if, or, or I'll be here. So just feel free to approach us. So next um, will be the panel discussion. And what I really want to talk about is. Um, with programming skills, what can you do? Pretty much. So let's put our hands together to welcome our panel speakers, uh, Nitya, Audrey, and Olivia. <laughs> <laughs>